experimental probability. In some situations, we might not know all the possible outcomes in the sample space, and so we might not be able to find theoretical probability, number of favorable outcomes divided by number of outcomes in the sample space. If that's the case, then we'll usually do an experiment or a survey to get experimental probability that can be an estimate of the likely theoretical probability if we knew all the outcomes. So experimental probability is calculated based on the results of an experiment or survey. And it's calculated by the number of times the outcome occurs divided by the total number of trials in the experiment. And it is generally expressed as a decimal. Rather than leaving it as a fraction, it's more use as a decimal, um, th similarly to relative probability or percentage probability. The expected number of occurrences, if you get theoretical or indeed, um, sorry, theoretical or experiment, experimental probability, then if you know how many trials you're going to do, you can predict how many will be that of a particular outcome by doing the probability times the number of trials. Now it's worth noting that you can do experimental probability even if you have theoretical probability. So you can find the experimental probability of getting heads when you toss a coin by taking that coin and tossing it you know, 50 times and recording the number of heads. If the coin is fair, you'll expect over long run experimental trials with enough trials. Um, you would expect theoretical and experimental probability to be quite similar. If you don't do many trials, you're going to get quite a big difference between the two. So a box contains an unknown number of balls of different colors. So because we don't know the number of how many balls there are or what colors, we can't find theoretical probability. We can do a repeated experiment, 100 trials of taking a ball out of the box, noting down the color and putting it back. 25 red balls were recorded in this way. Find the experimental probability for the number of red balls. Notation still the same. There were 25 red balls recorded and the trial was repeated 100 times. And we write that as a decimal, 25 divided by 100 is 0.25. Now what that says is we expect a quarter of the balls in that box to be red. It might be not be exactly that, but that's our expectation. So when we want to find the expected number of red balls, if there's 500 balls in the box, probability of 0 0.25 times 500 is 125 red balls.